Hi Aries, welcome to your July 2018 forecast. I have laid out the tarot cards and the runes. Um, just to let you know, you're only one of the few signs that has a runes in their reading. I decided that I won't be adding runes anymore since sometimes it's just a confirmation of the cards. But in cases like um, when I feel there are complications and I needed more insights, I will add in some runes. So for today, I've used my tarot cards and an oracle card and a few Lenormand just to give you a clearer picture and how things are going to be for this month of July. So last month, I was talking about how it is somewhat of a game changer month how there could be some major major changes that could occur it might have already happened to you it may not it could be just starting out but either way the bottom line is um your life is going to change whether you like it or not and especially to your love life and how you relate to people if you're the type of iris who has been waiting or being patient with someone whether it's a partner or someone you're dating or wanting to date um so there could be some disappointments regarding that there are emotional um disruptions that you might feel and by the end uh, you'd find yourself feeling alone or maybe you are alone because um, the disruption that might happen might cause you to be on the dominating side. You might be angry, you might demand things, you might um, be in a position wherein there's going to be a lot of debates. There's so much impulsiveness going on here and this is just so like you, Aries. But this time, even though you are impulsive, uh, let's just say you are much more impulsive than usual, which means that your patients are much lower than usual. You get irritated more than usual. And even though in the planetary alignments that we have the moon in Capricorn around here, um, even though that this moon is a grounded moon, a lot of alignments could be triggering this full moon, which causes you to act more forward without much thought. There could be a lot of misunderstandings that could occur it's either that you get to in a in a place wherein there are a lot of misunderstandings or you might find out something some sort of a secret or some sort of truth to the matter that could cause a lot of arguments um, this could play out in your relationships or in maybe with just certain people in your life. I kind of feel that it has to do with your relationships because I am seeing a lot of cups here. Even with the six of cups, it could be someone in your past. Uh, you may be waiting for someone in your past or, or something like that. But... Um, you are being given a test or karmic test whether are you still going to endure this or are you going to finally leave set your foot out there and tell yourself that hey i deserve more um i want to love myself more and i know that good things could still happen for me with or without you those are the kind of things that is airing the situation right now. For your, um, but I guess there is going to be some sort of uncertainties by until the first week of July until the mid month, I feel. But 
uh, but by mid to the end of July, things should be starting to make sense, starting to work out. But then again, if I were you, my best advice is to be rational with your decisions and not base it on your emotions. I mean, looking at your emotions is good, but focusing too much on your emotions and way too much probably won't be the best idea, really. <laughs> Uh, for your uh, oracle card, I got you the spell card and it's an enchantment card. This is a card you get when you find out some sort of truth or if you were someone who has been living a life of fantasy. You might suddenly wake up that and realize, oh holy crap, what am I doing in my life? It's sort of an awakening, so it could play out good or bad, but I feel that the process and progress um, to undergo might not be the best one, since Aries aren't really the type to, to handle emissions too well, unlike other water signs. But this is a breakthrough that you need to undergo. And do you know, by the end of the month, you'll be in a much better light. I see you more positive, uh, radiating a lot of happy and optimistic energy as a whole. I don't see you breaking up, but it's just more of to the point wherein you are being released to the doubt of your past. So it's kind of a healing certain kind of situations. And with you with the Lenormand's card that I've picked out, um some of the areas out there, since I do believe this won't be playing out to a lot of areas. Maybe some of you guys, but not all. So anyway, there are a lot of lies going on. It could be that some of you may be following on a spiritual path, but it's good. But though we are not really sure if you're, you're really, really going to pursue this or maybe you're just interested for a while and then after a few weeks, few days, you're not anymore. Uh, those kinds of things. But you get to find out something. And you might not break up with your partner, but you might lie low for a while you're not that devoted to them those kinds of things there is something of a truth here that is coming to light for you Aries and hopefully this could play out for you um, this could release you to any kind of disappointments I mean, it will disappoint you for sure, but it's not to the point wherein you'll feel that you have been led on by a certain person in your life. And for me, that is such a good thing. And yeah, sorry for not being able to really give you the best of news. Um, but I do know by the end of the month, everything will be just fine and you'll be in much better life and much happier so again thank you for watching this aries and if if you'd like a reading personal reading with me just check out my description box below for more information thank you